Thank you, Kevin. This year's historic storms caused a lot of grass and weeds to grow out of control. As the temperatures heat up, they're becoming a fire hazard. Action News reporter Nick Garcia joins us live from Southwest Fresno with how code enforcement is cracking down on owners of overgrown vacant lots. Nick. Right, well, it's lots just like this one that are top concerns for firefighters. Just look at how dry all of this grass has gotten in this lot. Not only is this a fire hazard that's very concerning, if not handled soon, it could cost property owners up to thousands of dollars. Deep in the dried out weeds of this vacant lot, lies a serious public safety concern. That grass does catch fire easier than your bushes and your shrubs that are around your house. The city of Fresno is filled with acres and acres of dry grass and weeds, the perfect kindling for fires that can quickly spread to nearby homes. Property owners should take a look outside and trim down their own yards. The most important thing our residents can do here in the city of Fresno is mowing down their weeds, keeping them short, removing those waste piles. Just don't mow it and leave all that slash on the ground. If it's a neighboring vacant lot, Captain John Creasy says you should call code enforcement or report it on the Fresco app. The code enforcement vacant lots team is making its rounds through the city, first issuing a warning to people with overgrown, dangerous vegetation. If you don't address it, it'll be a citation and code enforcement will take it upon themselves to clear out the weeds and send you the bill which is far more expensive than doing it yourself. That bill can be as low as a couple hundred dollars, but for larger lots, the fine can cost as much as $60,000. If you're just an absent landlord and you have a vacant property, expect a citation and a pretty big bill from code enforcement if you don't do it yourself. Firefighters remind you to dispose of cigarette butts properly and never throw them out of a car or toward open lots. Never light any flames near dry vegetation and before heading out to recreate, pay attention to the weather and fire risk conditions. So we're looking, especially when we start drying out and moving this summer, we get that little bit of an afternoon breeze and what fire does tend to ha increase with increased winds, increased dryness. And experts say it's best to mow your lawn before 10 a.m. when humidity is higher and temperatures are usually lower and never mow on a windy day. It's also a good idea just to keep a fire extinguisher nearby just in case uh, things get out of control. Also, if you can't clear your lawn on your own and you can't get a family member or a friend to do so, reach out to the city and they'll do what they can to help. Live in Southwest Fresno, I'm Nick Garcia, ABC 30 Action News. So